we're going to model a tower similar to this one but in a squarish form please don't forget to subscribe like the video and turn on the notification bell to receive all new tutorials let's start off by creating a new metric architecture template and directly go to massing and site show the masses and make an in place mass let's name it tower okay now we add a rectangle mind the dimensions because we need some proportion to create this divided surface in a proper way we will use certain dimensions so 15 by 15 fillet arc we need a radius of a fixed radius of 4250 after filleting all sides we head to the 3d view click on the form create form let's make it 60 meters as height then set the work plane go to the right view using the cube and use the line tool to make this triangle this triangle will be our void select the triangle then click on void form now our issue and our biggest challenge here is creating the divided surface on the whole form if we select it like that the subtracted area will be selected too so we need to select each surface by pressing control on the keyboard and using the mouse left click if we pick something by mistake we can click shift and deselect it now let's continue selecting all surfaces then click on divide surface and now we can change the pattern to be a rhomboid let's use um, 30 for the u grid and 4 for the v grid now these are not really aligned and it takes some time to align them but we will try to go through as quick as possible to show you the rest of the tutorial let's pick this one and this one make them 28 you grant that's how we change the alignments and these two make them 25 yep the last one will be 23 there could be some inaccuracies but we can work that uh, after finishing the family we are going to make now To create the um, the elements upon these grids, we will go to File, New, Family, and use English or Imperial if you are using feet metric for English, and use Scroll until you see Metric Curtain Panel Pattern Based and Open. Now in here we change this grid to be rhomboid. The spacing can be 3 meters by 3 meters. And we can directly create a reference point element. Put it anywhere on these reference lines. Then set work plane. Select the vertical work plane. Use the circle tool or any shape for your case 
and let's have a 75 radius. Make this one a reference line using pressing control, selecting the reference lines with the circle, create form. Now, if you want to create glass over here, we can select this form, HH, and then select these lines, only these lines, create form, select this surface, the flat surface, then material change it to glass and apply to go back we use the uh, glass symbol the glass symbol reset temporary and now we can load it into project in the 3d view we still need to pick each one i really hate this but we have to after selecting each surface, use the family from the drop down menu. Now we can do one more thing before finishing, and that thing is um, the roof. To do the roof, we can simply um, click finish. and use the pick roof by face change this roof to be sloped glazing create roof and you have one you can even have a curtain grid over it but another way if you want really to go uh, to the maximum custom use we can edit the mass edit in place Uh, hover over the roof and press tab several times until you pick it now you can divide the surface make it uh, don't make it anything just change the lines make the u grid one and this could be your curtains or roof lines to use these roof lines we can um create an adaptive family go to file new family english scroll until you find metric generic model adaptive open and in here you can start by clicking reference point element make sure you are on drone work plane create three point elements it doesn't matter where they are and then select first and second one spline through points is reference line second and third one spline through points and this reference line now make the first one adaptive second one adaptive third one as well to have something an element we do the same as we did for the rhomboid element. We create a reference point and we make sure it's drawn face. Put it anywhere on this reference line. Select the vertical uh, work plane and use the circle. Let's have this one a hundred. Make sure it is a reference line select it pressing control and selecting the reference line create form now we can load it into the project then head to the 3d view in here we can select our roof again and you we can make a surface representation use nodes so these nodes will be helpful if we uh, want to make a, f a certain family or a certain frame using them. We can isolate this element and start creating from the create tab a component. And this is our family. We just made it. So 
you can just follow these lines. For the inside part, we may use a different uh, number of adaptive uh, points. So we can delete one point, we can keep only two, then save it as a new family. Then load it into the project. Now we can connect these lines. Now we can re reset the temporary height mode to see our project. Do not forget that you can change the materials of families, of course, from the family um, project file. You can come to here and change this to any material you want. I hope that was useful. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and share this uh, tutorial with a friend who's interested in Revit. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.